welcome to Bell's newsletter. Again, in the kitchen, people have given me lovely comments about my kitchen and how tidy it is. Believe you me, if you saw over there, you wouldn't be saying that. So, we've had more rain this week. Of course, hasn't been open much, but to be fair, nowhere has. Uh, what I have got for you this week is an absolute plethora of fun. But first of all, we have some serious news. Somebody has stolen a bolt off one of my trolleys outside my shop. I swear to goodness, I wish I was lying, that somebody has taken it. Now, what that person forgot was we have security TV outside the shop. And I'm not going to reveal who it was. I'm going to wait for them to come forward and to hand me my bolt back. But I can only do this for so long. So if you are the guilty one, or you know who's been nicking my bolts, then please come forward, or I will have to name and shame. So, some more uh, excellent news for you. We've got a grip promotion on at the moment. So basically, we put a grip on your seven iron for free. These grips cost 12 quid. That's 12 pounds free on your seven iron to see if you like it, and then you can get your other clubs done. So it's a free, Grip promotion. So pop into the shop, ask myself, Welshie, Holden, or Karen about the information, uh, and you too can get your hands on some lovely free rubber. Excellent. So, what else have we got? Well, with that grip promotion in mind, it reminds me of a story uh, about a young assistant that we used to know that tragically we used to take off grips, syringing them with a kind of big syringy thing. and pumping petrol into the grip and taking the grip off. Uh, but this time, Craig, as I'll, as I'll call him, he uh, was trying to take off the grip and syringed himself with the petrol, <clears throat> hit the deck. We thought he was dead. He jumped up, started running about like mad, and then <clears throat> completely hit the deck, face down. We went over and looked. He wasn't dead. He just ran out of petrol. So there's one for uh, the Christmas crackers for you. Uh, and also we have this week, um, people always ask me, how do I shape the golf ball? Now, when I was a kid, I was told some outrageous stuff about get up, drop the club inside, or, or yeah. too difficult. Good players don't do that, or they don't consciously think about it. Uh, so this little video, you're going to find very, very useful. And again, it isn't that difficult to do, as you'll see, because I did it. And I only took it. Quick and easy tip for you, okay? You want to be able to draw and fade the ball, okay? You don't have to think about it quite as much as you would think. So setup alignments are how you do it the easiest way. For the draw, face to the right, handle forward. That will bend your path to the right. And you'll hit some lovely draws like so. Now, sure as anything, if you want to fade the ball, you do the opposite. You can still set up normal, put the face to the left, but put the handle back. And you can hit some lovely fades, set up alignments or where it's at. You don't have to drop it inside, throw it outside, do anything like that, push your bum at nothing, right? If you watch the people that play the biggest fades, the person that you're playing with off the first tee and they're fear that the ball is going to go to the right, they'll put the face to the left, they'll make it worse. So, set up alignments. Face to the right, handle forward for a draw, handle back, face to the left for a fade. Trust me, it works. Live in Bell's Kitchen with a half-eaten tennis ball, not by me. So, if you want to hit a draw, say that pink thing is indeed the target. You want to draw it, push the handle forward and point the face to the right. And that will bend the path to the right. Now, you want to hit a fade? Simple, you put the handle back and the face points that to the left and it dictates the path across the ball. Simple stuff, 
with simple bits of equipment. Handle forward, draw, handle back, fade. Lovely jubbly. <laughs>